Joining me now, national spokesperson for Citizens for Trump, Jan Morgan. Jan, good to have you with us. And uh, hey. I, I've just got to ask you, this is a press like we haven't seen for a long time on gun control. I, but th there's a funny sort of atmosphere around it. It's as if uh, everybody's learned their lesson and they know that reflex isn't uh, the same thing as reason and uh, rationality in support of a, anything that constrains the Second Amendment. Well, I'm not sure that everyone has learned their lesson, Lou. As you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm a little crossways right now with the NRA and their decision to ask ATF to look into the possibility of restricting bump stocks. Because, you know, when the foundation of your argument has always been that restricting the rights of law-abiding citizens does not stop criminals because criminals don't act within the confines of the law, then to even go down this route of restricting law-abiding citizens in any way is a slippery slope that we don't need to be sliding down. Yeah, the NRA position, though, that I, I think that is entirely appropriate, Jan, is that they are willing to discuss it. They didn't say they're going to support one policy, one direction or the other. Uh, but it's uh, well, but they I, did I, say, but they did ask ATF to look into further mm -hmm. regulations. And, and, and here's the problem, Lou. Mm -hmm. The reason I say it's a slippery slope, sure. and I know the, the bump stock is not a gun, but yeah. it is an accessory. And when you look at the radical left, they, they view scopes as accessories and magazines as accessories. So where does yeah, well, it the hell stop? with them? I mean, well, it, I, I mean, seriously, we, the hell well, with I them. I know, but because but we're, we you and I be know better, about... people who know guns know better, uh, and our legislators, I think, and that's what I was trying to suggest at the outset. They know this game. Right. They know the gun, the gun control lobby, and what they are, and uh, and they're all about uh, an anti-constitutional uh, uh, framework for the debate. Uh, I, I, what I'm saying to you is, I was proud that the NRA took the position it did, because these, in my opinion, uh, these uh, I, I don't know what you want to call them, bump stocks, uh, slide stocks, whatever you want to mm -hmm. call them. I have never seen one, but I do know this. I don't believe that automatic weapons ought to be in the civilian population in any form for any reason whatsoever, period. Now, I, that is the only constraint on guns that I, that I personally support or endorse. The okay, idea, Lou, you know I love you to death. I know, we're going to have a fight here. We're going to have to agree here. to disagree I'm, on I'm that. Getting, we're going to have to agree to disagree. All right. Yeah, so you tell me why if we've already... already so out, highly regulated. Jim, let me ask you this. If we have a law that is uh, that prohibits automatic weapons, why should we... We already do have... Uh, well, let me finish. Why should okay. we not mimic that law in its application to bump stocks which mimic machine guns? Because bump stocks, just like any other accessory and just like any full, uh, fully automatic weapon, mm -hmm. Further regulating them doesn't stop bad guys from getting them. Well, and what I want to talk about is how do we really stop mass murder? We need yeah. to look at the real root of the problem. I saw a documentary the other day that I thought was very intriguing, and it was about the fact that in over a majority, almost all, in fact, of, of the mass murders that have occurred in America were committed by people who were either under the influence of some kind of psychiatric drug or were coming off of psychiatric drugs. And I think, you know, Lou, you and I, back when we were growing up, the guys that drove to school had rifles and shotguns mm -hmm. in the back window of their truck. But we also didn't have, we did not school. have automatic fire weapons of any kind. And most and folks, still, when I was growing up, I mean, a handgun was, uh, you know, uh, you know, it was sort of an exotic uh, weapon. Uh, the fact is, we've got plenty of handguns, we've got plenty of rifles, we've got more firepower than a lot of folks in my generation 50 years ago would have dreamed possible. What I'm talking about is a, a reasoned position on the part of the NRA, which I personally think is right. That's what makes America great. We get to keep our guns and we get to disagree. Jen Morgan, come back and we'll okay. continue the discussion and the debate anytime. <laughs> yes, sir. Thanks so Absolutely. much, Jen. Jen Morgan, she is terrific.